What is up, Ada Nation? Welcome to App Central. My name is Fareed, and in today's video, I've got some of the latest news and updates surrounding everything going on in the Cardano network. So the first thing I want to touch on is going to be the ever-growing rise in TDL or total value locked for the Cardano network. Second, I want to jump into updates surrounding MinSwap and the fact that this team continues to outdo themselves with an ever-growing 24-hour trading volume, which has just surpassed 50 million ADA and exactly what two coins are driving a lot of this DEX adoption. Following that, I want to jump into updates surrounding AADA Finance and a brand new on-chain governance proposal that you guys in the community can begin to take a part of if you're a holder of the AADA governance token. Next, I want to jump into updates surrounding Genius X, then ViFi, given the fact that their farming will be kicking off very soon. And then in closing of today's video, we're going to end on a positive note here with a highlight touching on Project Noom. Now, if it's your first time stopping by the channel before we jump into all of this, I am a single stake pool operator operating the official DAP Central stake pool. My mission here is to educate the broader Cardano community. And if you guys in the community would like to support me on my mission, then consider delegating or staking with this DAP stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. That said, let's jump into our very first topic for today's video, which is going to be surrounding the growing TVL on the Cardano network. So as you guys can see here, I've got a pretty simple chart highlighting the growth over the course of the last five months, which as we can see has been over 100 in 30 percent so we first kicked off this year with a little bit under 200 million ada currently locked on the network and as i'm shooting this video we currently have more than 453 million ada currently locked on the platform so this has 2 x over the course of the last five months with pretty big changes here on a month to month basis so between the new year in February, we had an increase of about 19%. Between February up until March, we had an increase, which was probably the largest, of about 35%. And then from there, between March and April, we had an increase of 14% followed by an increase of 6% between April and May. And then very lastly, between May and now, which is close to the end of the month or right about the June timeline, we've seen an additional increase of 18%. So some pretty solid numbers here when it comes to TVL. And we're going to be touching on one platform actually up next year, which has been driving a lot of this new growth and adoption. Now, if I jump over into DeFi Llama, what I want to do is just kind of take a quick look at, at some of the biggest gainers here. And what we're going to do is just kind of sort this by the one month change. So coming in at number one, we've got AADA Finance, which has had a 73% increase in terms of TVL over the last 30 days followed by Fluid Tokens, which has grown quite a bit as well, and they currently have their ISPO ongoing. Now, keep in mind that while these one-month change percentages are very close, we can see that AADA Finance now has more than $5 million US locked onto their platform, whereas Fluid Tokens has about a little bit over a quarter of a million dollars currently locked on their platform. So keep in mind that the one month change percentage is not directly tied to the actual amount in US dollars that the platform currently has locked onto it. The third platform with a relatively significant gain over the last month is going to be none other than MinSwap. If you guys are not already aware, this is going to be the largest platform in terms of TVL on the entire network. So the fact that this particular platform has gained an additional 27% here is quite the update, bringing their TVL value all the way into $64 million. Now, we also have some competing DEXs, which will be launching very soon, which include the likes of the Genius Yield DEX, as well as the Wi-Fi DEX that just made it on the main net. Breaking down the rest of these apps, we've got Indigo with an increase of over 20%, followed by Muesli Swap and Sunday Swap. If we take a look or if we sort this by the last seven days, We've got Vi Finance coming in at number one, given the fact that they just recently launched on the main net, which includes the launch of their farms, their decks, and their bar. Their TVL currently sits at $7.8 million, which has risen quite quickly, again, given the fact that they just made it on the main net. Right behind them, again, we've got AADA, followed by MinSwap, Indigo Fluid Tokens, Jed, Optum Finance and Meow Swap. That's going to wrap it up there for that very first update, again, surrounding the TVL on the Cardano network. 
Next, I want to jump into some updates here surrounding MinSwap and the fact that this team continues to outdo themselves when it comes to their all time high in terms of 24 hour trading volume. So what I want to break down is going to be this last update here, which just occurred actually no less than 24 hours ago. And the team has now set an all time high of let's see here, 54 million ADA being traded in the last 24 hours, which is equivalent to over $20 million US, almost $21 million US being traded on the DEX. Again, this is the trailblazer here, really carrying and pushing the entire ecosystem forward. And I wanna to touch on exactly why we saw so much trading activity here on the MinSwap DEX. Now, before I jump into that, I just highlighted not too long ago, the fact that the MinSwap DEX has just really been outdoing itself. If we take a look at this volume chart here, on let's see here may 7th we had an all-time high which was 17 million ada being traded in 24 hours and just last week i made a video talking about the fact that we had just crossed over i think it was 30 million ada let's see here if i can highlight it right around the may 21st timeline and we now have doubled that no more than a week after so what is actually driving this adoption well this is going to be a brand new token called bank which has just launched in addition to SNEC. So SNEC, as you guys are already familiar with, is going to be a meme coin that has been really just kind of pushing us forward. And I believe that that was the main driver for the first two all-time highs. However, over the course of just the last 24 hours alone, we saw the bank token get a trading volume of over 30 million ADA alone. So that really goes to show meme coins are still in demand and this is driving adoption again whether you like to admit it or not i think it's just the cold hard truth and this is basically putting minswap at the very front and i'm sure that right now they're doing quite well given all the trading fees coming in for people leveraging the snack token and leveraging or trading the bank token jumping over into tap tools we can take a look at the recent trading activity for the bank token and as you guys can see over the last 24 hours it is up about 82 percent but if we take a look at it from its actual inception and keep in mind that they did have a pre-sale all the way to its current price right now it's an increase of over 900 and 44 percent so if you're able to get in to this particular pre-sale you're doing quite well and even if you came in after the pre-sale you could still potentially be doing quite well that is going to do it there for that particular update again surrounding the bank token and exactly what has driven the min swap decks to an all-time high in terms of 24 hour trading volume next we're going to jump into some updates here surrounding AADA Finance and their sixth on-chain governance proposal for the Cardano community. Now, I just broke down the fact that this team recently had an adoption for the SNEC token and the Iagon token. And today, what we're gonna be seeing is an additional proposal to add the bank token and the Cherry Lend token. So the bank token, as I just mentioned, is going to be a new meme coin that just kicked off. They had a pretty strong pre-sale and it states here that they're going to be a strong Cardano token backed by a team of 12 NFT enthusiasts. And in their first 24 hours, they've performed more than 30 million ADA trading volume, which again, I just touched on there as a part of that previous update surrounding MinSwap. Next, we've got Cherry Lend, which is crafted to be an open source and secure pooled lending protocol built on the Cardano network. Now, this is quite an interesting thing to see here, given the fact that the Cherryland team has been openly mentioning the fact that they're leveraging the open source code by AADA Finance. But it looks like there's no hard feelings here from the AADA Finance community, given the fact that they're actually looking to add the Cherry token as a borrowable asset on the AADA Finance protocol. Not only will this bring or attract more people to use or borrow Cherry on the AADA Finance platform, but this also in turn gives the Cherry token an additional bit of utility in the sense that it can now be borrowed on this new platform. So if you're looking to take advantage of this particular vote or if you want your vote to be heard, make sure to go ahead and tune in. The voting will kick off on the 4th of June all the way to the 9th of June or an epoch number 416. That's going to be it there for that brief update surrounding the governance vote for bank and cherry being added as borrowable assets 
on the AADA Finance Protocol. The next update I want to touch on for today's card on a scoop is going to be surrounding the multi-token ISPO, which was held by the Genius Yield team in the second and third quarter of 2022. So if you guys missed my last video where I broke down exactly how you guys can begin to claim your tokens, today the date has arrived. So beginning today, you will be able to claim the first 10% of the total rewards that you would have earned as a part of that multi-tokenized PO, which again includes tokens for the Reach Metaverse, Legity, we've also got Drunken Dragons Gaming, as well as the HHMC Motorcycles Club, and I believe there's one other token here that I may be forgetting off the top of my head. But again, I'll leave the link to that original article down below, and you can actually begin to claim your tokens using Tosi Drop. So if you head over to app.tosidrop.io, all you need to do is go ahead and enter your stake key here at the very top, and then click on check my rewards and then you'll be able to see exactly what tokens you're able to claim in addition to the five tokens which were rewarded as a part of the multi-token ISPO. So keep that in mind that you may see additional tokens here that span outside of that ISPO if the stake pool that you delegated to is also collaborating with the stake pool alliance or the single stake pool alliance in order to reward their users. That's going to be it there for that particular update. Moving over into the next topic here for today's Cardano Scoop, I want to give you guys a brief update surrounding the farming of the VIFI team. Now, this team just went live on the main net, and as I just mentioned before, they've got over $7 million currently locked on their platform. And what I want to mention is going to be the fact that on May 29th or today, the farming will go live. So if you were able to provide liquidity into a DEX, you should start to see rewards rolling in beginning within the next 10 hours. Now, every 24 hours after the first initial set of rewards come out, you'll be able to claim your additional rewards. So as long as you're checking in daily, you should see those rewards begin to accrue. And whenever you're ready, you're able to go ahead and harvest those. If you don't harvest them, they will compound there until again, you're ready to go ahead and actually claim them from the platform. Now that's going to be it there for that very brief update. The very last thing I want to touch on is going to be surrounding Project Noom and the fact that they've officially made it within the Killer Whales show. So I assume that we're going to be seeing Ryan Jones, who's going to be the founder or the CEO of Project Noom, in addition to some of the key members running that platform. That said, if you guys want to support this growing team, then definitely make sure to tune in as soon as we have the official date for when they'll be making their appearance on the Killer Whale show. I'll make sure to go ahead and share that with you guys here in the community. I think that's going to bring us to a close here for today's Card on a Scoop in which we've touched on the growing TVL, MinSwap breaking their all-time high in terms of 24-hour trading volume, AADA Finance's sixth governance vote, as well as the claim process, which has just begun for the Genius X multi-token ISPO, ViFi kicking off their farms, and then Noom officially making it as a partner or collaborator on the Killer Whales show. If you guys found today's video to be helpful in any way, shape or form, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions for me surrounding Cardano or any other projects that we've touched on as a part of today's video, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.